to embed of entities into single vector space. This paper describes general purpose neural embedding model. So uh, original paper of the paper is called Star Space Embed All Things with publication date of 2017. Authors are Lendel, Wu, uh, Fish, Chopra, Adams, Bordes, Weston, and it is funded by Facebook AI Research. In summary, it is a general purpose method to embed multi-class entities into single vector space. For example, you can embed at the same time words, documents, and as well you can embed users, you can get present users as vectors, all of these entities in the same single vector space at where you can compare vectors of those different types of entities. Uh, so the SAR space requires discrete features. For example, users features are documents that he liked. It trains by using bag of features and contrasting with K negative samples. Um, so I will describe it later. In terms of uh, quality, this method uh, com performs very competitively, but in terms of uh, speed, this method is very fast, but not as fast as fast text. Uh, it is because that fast text has additional um, additional performance improvement rega with regards to hashing. They they use these. Uh, you know, they, they FastX embeds um, engrams, and because they, there are too many engrams that exist, and then they don't actually hold uh, all of them, they, they have some kind of uh, hashing function, they, they use some hash tables to speed up, um, speed this up, and throw away rare, uh, rare uh, engrams. Uh, so the me method is uh, highly influenced by fast text, uh, but in comparison to which it is more general, although slightly slower. The loss in this method is, uh, is using a margin ranking clause, where it tries to make sure that uh, positive, it uses you know this k-negative sampling. So when in in each in each step it has one positive sample and k negative samples and it tries to uh, ma make the positive sample uh, you know as much as close as possible to zero while at the same time all of the other samples to have certain margin away from zero uh, it um, uh, uses similarity so for this ranking clause you need a similarity function and as a similarity function they use dot product for low low dimensions they discovered that they in many cases it's it's better to have lower number of dimensions but in higher uh, in some cases you need more dimensions so in that case the cost in similarity outperforms dot product as they have uh, also uh, discussed in the paper. Uh, how they actually embed the, the different uh, entities. So to embed different type of entities, different classes of entities, they need a, a concept of hierarchy between them. So each entity needs to have some kind of relationships to uh, the underlying entities or at least they all need to have the same um, same features. So for example, in case of documents, documents are composed of words and the words themselves are single, single, you know, one hot encoded uh, feature, right? Uh, so this is the idea how they, uh, using the hierarchy between the entities uh, they uh, create representations in the vector space for also the parents from children up to the parents. Um, uh, applications of this are, you know, anywhere where you can use embeddings, you can use this. So for example, uh, they discuss text classification, ranking of entities. Uh, they do also link predictions in graph embeddings. Uh, they do collaborative filtering, uh, based recommendations, content based recommendation uh, uh, and as well of course uh, sometimes you just need the embeddings uh, just to study them so they can embed word sentences, document and graphs.
Okay, so I hope you liked it. That's gonna be all. Um, I hope you got the spice of the paper and uh, yeah, dislike and unsubscribe and yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions and see you next time.